Hello guys, welcome back to another video on building web applications with the help of AI. So as you know that on my channel, I've been talking about a lot of AI tools that we can use to build awesome web applications. So I talked about the Raplet recently. Before that, I've been talking about ChatGPT, DeepSea, Cursor AI Editor, VS Code Insiders for Copilot and use those tools and compare those tools, how we can create web application with the help of those within few minutes. and it it can save over time a lot to build the MVPs or any kind of applications. So this is the full stack application which I'm going to be building with the help of Next.js 15 app directory structure front end and on the back end I'm going to be using Superbase and only in few minutes. This is the landing page I'm already logged in. It's uh, it's working login sign up email verification everything is working. So now it is showing the dashboard because I am logged in. Uh, so this is all the sections that is going to generate and we can go to the dashboard and now you can see that it is showing this awesome dashboard with all the cards generation of the data we can add create a new client create a new invoice against a client and it is going to show all the history and we can download it in the form of PDF we can print it and it's going to show proper view of a particular invoice we can perform quick uh, actions and if I click on the new client it will take me to an awesome form uh, that uh, we can use to create a new client uh, for which we want to create an invoice and we can go back and uh, here I think it's going to show uh, all the clients yeah it is going to show all the clients which we can add it or create a new invoice against this particular client and we can again create a new invoice as well uh, it's a quite a big form and all the calculation for payments the status of the payments everything is working if I click on new invoice button you can see that this is a big form and everything is working and we can click on create invoice and all the calculation will be automatically handled on the dashboard and this is the list of all the invoices this is going to be visible uh, so everything is going to be built the front end back end the user interface uh, creation of the user and the linkage of the user database schema uh, building in just 15 minutes in this video i'm going to be talking about another awesome ai assistant as well as an ai agent which i think is better than the Raplet, which i talked about in one of the last videos and better than in most of the ai tools which i have talked before and this awesome tool is called Tempo Labs and you can see that it is backed by Y Combinator and it supports a lot of technologies front end back end and we can create full stack applications as well with the help of its AI agent and first of all you need to do is you need to log in it will ask you to log in with your github account and after you log in with the github account it's going to show you this particular page and uh, where you can write a initial prompt for example you want to create a SaaS application or you want to create only front end application so as you know that in this particular tutorial I'm going to be creating a full stack invoice generation application with the help of Next.js as well as on the back end I will be using Superbase and this particular AI tool is going to support the super base as well as Next.js all together directly inside its interface. So in this particular interface, I'm first going to create a prompt so I can write a prompt. I need you to create a full stack web application using Next.js 15 app directory structure and super base authentication super base for authentication and database make sure you follow best practices and create an awesome good looking UI that is professional and responsive use shared CN UI for building components and also use Tailwind CSS for styling use TypeScript as well and I want to update the first line what kind of application I want to build full stack invoice generation web application okay and below that we can select the frameworks and above it we can upload an image as a reference of the 
UI that we want it to build and we can select different technologies. I'm going to go with the Next.js and I'm going to select the super base for payments. We can select any of these two, but I'm going to go with the none. You can configure it. Uh, so these two are selected setup integration. Now it is asking me to connect with the super base. So I need to connect my account. I've already done that and it's going to show me all the project which I have currently. So I'm going to go to the super base. If you don't have an account of super base, make sure to sign up over here. These are the sample projects which I have. So I'm going to click on a new project, select organization, and uh, I'm going to select test tempo labs. Okay. And I'm going to generate a password. Let's copy that. We will be needing that. Let's on a new tab. I'm going to paste it over here. Uh, you can select the region nearest to you and I'm going to click on the create new project. Okay. Let's go to the tempo and uh, let's select this and select the organization authorized tempo labs. And uh, then it is going to let me select the project. So do we have that test tempo labs? This is something which I have just created in front of you and I have clicked on that. It's currently loading. Let's click on the setup integration. Okay. And once I'm done with that, I can click on next and now it is going to start its work. After clicking on next, it is going to starting creating a new Next.js 15 project with all the dependencies required packages directly inside its interface. At the top, you can see that it has modified my prompt and for its own understanding, this is the PRD. Uh, it's going to just show the user flow as well, which you can modify and we can update these information as well. If you want it to regenerate that, if you don't like, uh, these kinds of uh, requirements are a prompt that it has generated after me, then you can modify that and click on generate again. It's going to show the design that it is going to create. This is the code uh, that it is going to create. This is currently loading because it's currently in progress. Okay. Uh, so right now this is just the design PRD. Uh, and on the left side, we can see that we have the design system. We can go to the different file structure that it has created and uh, we can see the DOM tree, uh, everything that it is generating and also super base connection. And we can link over Figma as well to it for a reference of design that we want it to create. So let's wait for it quickly, how much uh, work it has done. So let's go over here. Currently on the left side, you can see that uh, it has uh, just uh, regenerating that and it is creating these kinds of files according to our requirements quickly. So we don't need to do anything. It is generating the landing page, which is going to be responsive. Obviously there will be slightly UI issues that we can modify it later on, but it's going to configure the whole functionality of our application on its own. So now it has shown this error and I don't need to fix it manually. I can ask to fix it with AI. So I can click on fix with AI and it's automatically going to start the process to fix all the issues that is generated. So meanwhile, it is getting generated. I just want to let you know that you can see on my channel, I've created almost 200 plus videos, mostly in react and Next.js. So I'm putting a lot of effort building these videos for you guys. So I would just request you to subscribe my channel and like my video. And if you need any kind of development services from me, you can contact me on LinkedIn. I've given the link of my LinkedIn profile in the description of this video as well as on my channel page as well over here. So now during the process while generating the project, it showed the potential problem detected. And what we can do is rather than go to the files and manually see what are the issues, we can click on fix with AI. It is now saying that it has fixed the current error that it showed. And I'm going to ask it is everything completed. All right. So what we can do is we can click on this icon at the top right corner and see our app. So you can see that it has created this beautiful landing page with get started for free. And it has added these few images and a few of these things as well. So I'm going to click on get started free and I'm assuming that it's going to take me to the login or the sign up page. All right. So it has taken me to this particular page. I can click on the sign up and I can fill out my information quickly. Click on sign up. Now it is asking me to verify my email. Let's do that. All right. So I'm done with the email verification. Let's go to the sign in. So I have signed in after email verification. So we know that the full authentication is working pretty fine. And it has taken me to this beautiful dashboard page with these cards that it must have used the shared CNUI because I asked it to use that. And now let's click on new invoice. 
if I click on it, it needs to take me to this route. So it has actually missed creating these routes. So I'm going to go to the tempo and ask it that these routes are missing. Uh, please fix the routes because on dashboard, uh, the routes for new invoice client page and maybe more routes are missing. So let's hit enter. Uh, before that, I'm going to write, please verify everything as well. So in few minutes, it is done with all the processing. Let's verify if all the new routes are added or not. So I'm going to go to the same URL and uh, it has logged out. So let me log in again. Okay. It's still processing. It's taking some time, but before that, my, meanwhile, it is getting logged in. We, we check over here. Let's go to the super base and let's go to the authentication. And you can see that this is the email, uh, which I've used to sign up and uh, let's go to the table editor. So these are the four tables that it has created automatically in my super base. So it has full access to the super base right now, and it includes clients, invoice items and invoices. Uh, let's go over here. Let's click on new invoice and let's see if new route is added or not. All right. So it has created this complete beautiful form for creating a new invoice. I'm just wanted to show you that how cool this AI agent is and uh, how cool application we can create with it. And once we are done with creation of all the full stack application, we can link it with our GitHub repository as well uh, by creating a new one. And then we can start working on this beautiful MVP and we can create these MVPs in few minutes. Now, if we have an idea, uh, you don't need to spend a lot of budget or money to create an MVP, use these AI tools, maybe Raplet or maybe the other tools. I'm going to talk about more AI agents, just such as Tempo Labs for creating these beautiful applications. Let's go back and let's see if that uh, creation of new client route actually exists or not because there was an error. Uh, so right now it, it's going to take me to the all invoices page. It has actually added this page as well. Let's click on the logo, whether it takes me to the home page or not. So currently this is not our public uh, domain. So it is currently slow. Uh, so I'm going to go to the dashboard because I'm already logged in. Click on new client and see if new client page exists or not. I think it exists because 404 page does not uh, shown up because uh, this page exists. So there is an error create client. And uh, so I, what I'm going to do is I can actually take a screenshot of it, go to the tempo, go to the chat and I can just drop this screenshot over here. Let's go over here. Let's copy this URL and paste it over here and ask it. Please check the image when I navigated to above route. I saw this error. So we can keep on doing that until all the errors are fixed and it is going to perform the agentic operations uh, to fix all the UIs and you can keep on asking it. And obviously I'm on the free version of Tempo Labs. Uh, daily uh, quota of it is six messages daily and it is going to be renewed uh, by tomorrow. Otherwise you need to upgrade it to the pro plan and it's going to give you a lot more prompts you can use for daily basis. Okay. So currently you can see that uh, it is actually processing and it is going to fix this error. Okay. So after the operation was complete, this page was automatically reloaded and you can see that the error is fixed, error is gone and we can create new clients. Now let's go back on the previous dashboard page. In fact, it took me to the clients page where we can see all the clients and I'm going to click on the logo and then I'm going to go to the dashboard link. So let's click on the dashboard now because I'm already logged in. So I'm going to put some data to see if everything is working over here or not. All right. So this is how the dashboard look like. I'm able to create a new clients, create new invoice against a particular client. And it is showing all these collect calculations correctly, recent invoices, invoice status during the testing. And while adding the data, I came across few issues. And again, I went to this tempo lab and shared screenshots or asked uh, it 
to fix with AI and then it quickly went and fixed all the issues which I came across while adding the data inside it. And now I've tested all the features like downloading an invoice or showing an invoice. Everything is working only with the help of AI. Even the error handling is done with the help of AI. And if I go to the any of these invoices and you can see that it is showing all these invoices and I'm able to edit invoice and I can actually download it in the form of PDF as well. So this is how the invoice looks like. So everything is working. How quickly we are able to create this MVP within few minutes. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about it? And let me know if you want me to keep on sharing these AI generative AI tools with you guys in the form of videos and uh, you can actually create the github repository for it and you can keep on modifying this project to create a big SaaS project and again you can modify it to integrate the pricing as well if you want to create a SaaS application you can configure stripe with it only by prompting it and it's going to create it for you obviously you need to upgrade it and uh, rather than spending budget on the real mvp development you can just buy that and obviously uh, there will be some point that it is not going to be able to fix some of the architectural level issues like the code quality or deployments managing the servers uh, managing the traffic which you need to care about and uh, you also need to care about the code quality as well uh, like unit testing and the folder structure that it has created and uh, you can actually go through that currently we are able to create this full fledged full stack application front and back end in few minutes if you like this video do subscribe my channel and like this video as well i'm going to create more videos on such kind of tools in upcoming days thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video